How did you know this? I didn't know at all. Our conflict in the Middle East is no laughing matter, but Whiskey Tango Foxtrot takes a tip from MASH and delivers an often funny but serious recounting of a real reporter's wartime coverage in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Tina Fey and Margot Robbie give us the scoop. We filmed a lot of this movie at Kirtland Air Force Base in, in New Mexico. Um, we flew uh, in a Huey, I flew in a Huey, which uh, we were flown by Air Force pilots who were amazing, but I believe we were all, everything was dressed to look like Marines, so it was a little- I know, away. see I was gonna mention was that. Yes. Marines, but okay. it was really on an Air Force Base. Okay. Um, I, and I was so excited, they kept saying to me, are you nervous to go up in a helicopter? And I was like, I won't, I literally won't know if I'm scared to do it until we go to get in to do it. And then when I saw these pilots doing their checks, they're like, their sister, I was like, oh, we got this. Oh. Are you okay, man? I gotta pee. We're still five mics. Media asset must be dumping out. No, I'm just getting my pants on. The network needs reporters on the ground in Afghanistan. And you folks are all the unmarried, childless personnel in this bureau. <laughs> Kim, are you gonna be joining in? The travel or the crime? <laughs> How many people do you need? You had fun with this role, didn't you? I mean, yeah, it was I, really I remember talking to you about this when, with Focus. Yes. And you had said, I've got a movie in Afghanistan. I had no idea that this was, you were this reporter. Reporter. Yeah, yes. it was. It was funny to. Yeah, I mean, we get to speak to to like on press and things like that. It's kind of funny to. I was like, oh, I want to find my reporter voice now. I, I like <laughs> looked at YouTube endlessly. I was like, whose voice do I want to mimic for this? We shut up the cookie. She says, uh, "Welcome to Afghanistan." Listen to me now. This is where the foreign reporters live. Welcome to the fun house. Oh my God, it's so nice to have another woman in the house. In Afghanistan, you're a serious piece of ass. In New York, you're like six, seven. Here, you're nine, borderline 10. What are you here, like a 15? Hello, hello. Yeah. Huh. Do you think these parties were kind of like what we see on the big screen or? We actually just spoke to a, a, a former war correspondent and he said that totally happens. And yeah, um, yeah I think it's part yeah, of he coping with I, it. I was, I was curious myself because I don't know because I only did the movie. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I've never, I've never done actual, uh, any actual journalism myself. So um, yeah, he kind of confirmed some, some of it for us. You can see why it would happen. It's like this high stress situation every day that you have to escape somehow. Yeah. And you're all in the same boat. And you're all these expats living on the other side of the planet, surrounded by people that m more than likely, most of them don't want you there. So to survive, I guess you've, you know, you have to... You gotta cope. Yeah, you gotta cope. And um, everyone relies on each other. Ooh, Rob Baker, I guess so. Last night, what happened? The usual. Couple happens. Today, Kabul's first licensed female driver, Gulbahar Yousefi, hits the road in the front. That sucks. That sucks for women. As Tina Fey said, y'all are in it, so look for Whiskey Tango Foxtrot in your real-time theater. <laughs>